Amazon provides you with a very unique reporting. You can see your competitor, CTR, conversion rates, clicks, pricing. You can see it by week, by month, and I'm talking about each ASIN separately. And this reporting is called Search Query Performance Report. In this video, I will teach you how to do step-by-step -step this analysis, also utilizing ChatGPT to automate some of the process, and then what are the use cases for such a reporting. Hello everyone, my name is Damian. I'm co-founder of My Real Profit. We are analytics software for Amazon sellers. We also do have search query performance analytics. And the goal of this YouTube channel is to teach you how to use Amazon data and turn it into your competitive advantage. Let's start. Okay, so first of all, we need to enter this reporting. So quick guide, click on burger menu, you will have brands, click on brand analytics. Now on this breakdown, click search analytics and click search query performance. Once you enter the search query performance page, you have two options to view the data by brand and by ASIN. If you don't know what is search query performance report, I do have a video. It will be somewhere there or in that corner. You can click there and you will see my 20 minute video about SQP reporting. I am doing step by step guide there. Now let's get back. So as I mentioned, you have brand view and you have ASIN view on the brand view. You can see all your brand keywords. It will be 1000 keywords and it contains data across all of your ASINs or you can do ASIN view. So you can select a specific ASIN and Amazon will provide you with, from what I remember is about 100, yeah, 100 keywords. And you can see your performance by those 100 keywords for that specific ASIN. ASIN view has a very unique feature. You can click on the keyword and you will drill down uh, to the product level and you will see top 10 ASINs by clicks for that specific keyword. So let's click. This is what you will see. As you can see, Amazon states that this dashboard provides visibility into the performance of top 10 ASINs for the selected search query, which is keyword. And now you can see the data for that specific keyword by product, by brand. So you can see here price median, which is like an average price, but technically it's usually the lowest selling price for that specific product. Then you can see this product impressions, impression share, clicks and click share. So first of all, impressions is how many impressions this product is getting. As you can see, the search volume for that specific keyword located here, query volume, you can see it's 41,896. Now this product, as you can see, is getting 45,000 impressions. If we divide impressions into volume, we will get how many views per one search this product is getting. And obviously you can see that it's more than one. So the first product from the Nutris brand is getting at least one impression per each view. Okay, so now the impression share, yeah? So this is what percentage of total impressions they hold. So that's why you can see the total impression is much higher than the query volume. And if we want to understand how many products are viewed on average per search, we need to do impressions divided by query volume. We can calculate this and let's do it quickly. So we do 1 million impressions divided by 41,896 search volume, and we are getting 25.9, so 26 products are viewed on average per one customer search. Yeah. Okay. Now we have clicks and we have click share. So we can see total clicks for those top 10 ASINs and we can see the click share. Okay. One of the cool things that you can do is to calculate what percentage of all market clicks are related to the top 10 ASINs. Yeah. So you have the keyword level clicks and they are located here in the brand view. So you can see by keyword, or even here you can see total clicks, yeah, total count for clicks. And now you have the total clicks for top 10 ASINs. If you sum up clicks for top 10 ASINs and divide it by total market clicks, you will get a better understanding what percentage of customers of all clicks are getting first 10 product, uh, first 10 products. Usually those 10 products are also top 10 in terms of organic rank. So yeah. Now, how to calculate the CTR? Technically, it's pretty simple. You can do clicks divided by impressions and you will get the CTR. But doing this manually is quite time consuming. And uh, what I will show you is how you can very quickly uh, generate an Excel file from here. If you will try to copy like this, it will not work. So what I will do, I will make a screenshot, upload it into ChatGPT put my prompt, I will provide you with this prompt, it's very simple, and ChatGPT will generate me an Excel file with all of the numbers. In, this, in terms of screenshot, you should only make a screenshot of this table, nothing else. So I'm gonna do capture, 
Now I go back to ChatGPT and here is my prompt. This is a screenshot from Amazon Search Query Performance Report. You can see top 10 ASINs performance. Export data from this screenshot into the table and add additional metric CTR, which is clicks divided by impressions. And I got the ready to use table. Now I will just enter here, do this one more time with this screenshot. And we'll enter the screenshot. Now let's wait. So it took about 40 seconds to generate. Now I can click download. I got this ASIN level data and I can open it in the Excel file. So as you can see, ChatGPT found price median impressions, impression share, clicks, click share, and then CTR. Now for some of the CTR metrics, you might need to do some fixes, but it's pretty simple. You just need to, you know, to make sure it's a numeric format. And now let's just do percentages. Uh, format so we can see the CTR boom so you clearly can see that there are products that have very high CTR comparing to the other ones yeah five percent seven percent five percent six percent yeah three point eight three oh seven three oh ten yeah so those I would say those are the best products in terms of CTR. Now the only thing that is left is to calculate conversion rate. After we calculated conversion rate, I will show you how to use those metrics. To calculate conversion rate, there are a couple of options how to do this. Uh, you can use sales estimation tools or you can use Amazon uh, search engine results page because they have um, 10k plus about last month and you can use this one. Okay, so let's go back to Amazon and here we have the 6K bought in past months, 40K bought in past months, 30K bought in past months, 50K bought in past months, and so on. Now, let me explain you how those 50K, 10K, 20K are, are calculated. So, if you sell between 100 and 200 units, it will show you 100 plus bought last month. If you sell from 200 to 300, it will show you 200 plus bought last month. If you sell from 1000 to 2000, it will show you 1k plus bought last month. If you sell, let's say 2010 units, it will show you 2k plus bought last month. So in up to 10,000 in sales, this will be pretty accurate. The problem will be when you are estimating pretty big market and you have, let's say 10k plus bought last month because then we are calculating in terms of thousands. So 10K plus can be 10,000, can be 15,000, can be 19,000, yeah? And this spread is huge. So this estimation will work for smaller products like this one, 8K, because we know it's between 8,000 and 9,000. It will work for, you know, this product, 300 plus bought, 1K plus bought last month. Uh, this one will be fine. But if we do the calculation for something like 50,000 plus bought last month, it will be a little bit more uh, inaccurate. Uh, so in that way, I recommend you to use, let's say, combination of, you know, this tool plus Helium 10 estimation, Jungle Scout estimation, Smart Scout estimation, whatever you prefer. So, yeah. So we edit units. Yeah. But here's the thing those units are related to total sales and here we have the CTR metric for one specific keyword yeah so we cannot calculate conversion rate uh, by using those clicks divided by units sold because those are not all of the clicks for that specific product it's only for one uh, keyword now, how we calculate the conversion rate of the brand, and I can tell you that you still do have access to such data through Amazon reporting. Uh, so let's go back to Seller Central, and we need a report called Product Opportunity Explorer. This report is located on Burger Menu, Growth, and then Product Opportunity Explorer. Once you enter this page, you have a search bar here, and uh, let's say we want to check a specific product. So let's go to, for example, day three K2. And now 
let's select this ASIN. Yeah, so we I have an option to click here. If this is a third party extension, if you're uh, if you don't have an extension, you can enter the product. Here will be the ASIN, or you can also find an ASIN below here. Now let's go back to Product Opportunity Explorer and enter this ASIN and click search. And that's this product. You have an option to click on it. So when you click on the product, you will have additional drop down for that specific product. And look what we have here. We have click count. We have clicks for past 30 days. And as we have units sold for past 30 days, and then we have clicks for past 30 days, we can calculate the conversion rate. Yeah. So that's how you can do it. So just go one by one, enter each ASIN from this uh, file yeah, that you downloaded from the SQP. So I just added clicks. Uh, so those are total clicks from the product Opportunity Explorer. And now we can calculate the conversion rate. Yeah. So then CVR, which is conversion rate. Oh my God. And then we do unit salt divided into total clicks. And we have the conversion rate. Now let's do the conditional formatting to highlight, do, do like heat map of the best convert CTR and the worst. And let's do the same for the conversion rate. Yeah, let's highlight the highest and the lowest conversion rate. Okay, so what you can do with the data now? First of all, I recommend to track this on a monthly basis, you know, do this export and then track your competitors, conversion rates, CTRs, and then see you know, it will give you a lot of understanding. First of all, who is from ton, top 10 of your competitors is getting the best performance, uh, how the ranking uh, chart is changing, like who is getting top one position, top two, uh, and also how it correlates to their pricing. So I also suggest you to do the price and let's do the price. The higher price, the more red. You can also, you know, try to get some insights why let's say this product is getting 7% CTR uh, and while for example this product is getting high conversion rate. So I can tell you right away the first product is a best seller. Yeah? The best seller has a best seller batch so they have a higher CTR. Yeah, That's why. The second product is usually pretty close to the number one in BSR. It might have a lot of branded traffic and you can also double check their branded traffic using Amazon top search terms report. Yeah. So on Amazon top search terms report, you have a feature to click on a uh, top click brand, enter their brand name. And uh, with their brand name, you will see a list of all the keywords where they are in top three by sales. And most likely you will see uh, some uh, high volume branded search terms where they are obviously like holding hundred percent of the market. The third product has very high CTR because it's the cheapest. Yeah. That's why. And it's very important to take this into account. This is the cheapest product. It has the best CTR, the best conversion rate. And the main reason for that is price. Yeah. Where you should be interested in is for example, this product, yeah, because it has a decent pricing. It has also a good CTR and the conversion rate is not bad. So which product is interesting to me here is this one because it has the highest price, but it has a very good CTR. Yeah. The conversion rate is lower, but it's uh, because of the add to car rate, 100% uh, it's add to car rate is lower than market average because of the pricing. However, I still think they are doing really well in terms of their pricing. And I would recommend you to take a look at their uh, main picture and see what they are doing differently from others because their CTR is uh, pretty high. So uh, yeah, this report will provide you with a lot of valuable information. So as I mentioned before, you can double check what percentage of the total clicks uh, of the keyword the top 10 products are getting. Yeah. So for some keywords, it will be like 35%. For some keywords, it will be 50%. Uh, but it will give you with a better understanding like how important for that specific keyword it's to be in top 10 or customer scrolls down. Also, the conversion rate can be uh, in impact affected by the shipping times. So for example, if this company is offering one day shipping and no one else does, it also might be a trigger because of the high conversion rate. So yeah, there are multiple options how you can verify uh, why, the con why they have such a high conversion rate. And technically you have all of the uh, instruments provided by Amazon to get this data, to analyze it and to make actionable insights from it. Okay, that's it. 
If you find this video helpful, put a like button and subscribe. It will help me a lot to grow this channel. Uh, try to download this report. Try to use your data and see if you can get actionable insights from it. And uh, if you are looking for the automated solution, our company, My Real Profit, can help you. I put the link in the description. So click there and check out what we offer. We do offer search query performance reports and it's fully automated. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.